Aquarius, hi. This is going to be your video for the first half of July 2020. Um, this is going to be taking a quick look at your recent past, your current situation, your current energy, and then incoming or immediate future for you. Um, what can I really say about this? This is going to be about you in relation to something. This could be a relationship, this could be a job, this could be a venture, it could be whatever. Um, the first half of July is pretty freaking cute. Um, as soon as this video goes up, which is about the first-ish, um, Saturn will move out of your sign, Aquarius, and back into Capricorn, where it spends a couple more months uh, before it moves into your sign for the next couple of years. So this is our last chance to revamp something from a couple of years ago, whatever. And then also on the 5th, we have um, one more eclipse. Great. So three out of six this year. It's going to be great. Um, that's kind of it. Yeah. These are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, please let me know what's going on in the description box. Or, I'm um, sorry, in the comment section. Don't be a stranger. Give it a like. Subscribe if you want to see more of this person doing this stuff. Um, let's get into it. All right. What is going on? The first half of July for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Recent past. Current energies. And incoming opportunities. Okay, bottom of the deck for you is Death Reverse, followed by the Six of Swords, followed by the Five of Swords Reverse, and the Devil. Hmm. Okay, so Aquarius, big changes. Big, big changes for you, my loves. So, death is all about transformation. It's all about something is ending, and like ending for real, okay? When it's in the reverse, you're fighting that change. With the Six of Swords, this is a transition. you got to make one way or the other. Um, and it looks like it's going to be like a you versus you kind of thing. This might be you versus your ego or your pride. You know, with the Five of Swords, we want to get one up on somebody. We want to prove somebody wrong or right. I've talked about that before, and I won't get into it right now. Anyways, but that is going to be the general theme for this reading. Hello. Okay. So, recent past. We have the Eight of Wands reversed, the Nine of Cups reversed, and the Six of Pentacles. Current energy, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Page of Swords reversed. Uncupping energies, Seven of Cups reversed, Knight of Swords, Five of Pentacles reversed. Huh. Okay, the power of imagination is like right there. Right there. If you're not giving yourself the space to dream, to imagine, um, Throw it out and start again, okay? Right in the center of all nine cards. In the middle of your reading is the Ace of Cups. So love is on its way to you. This is, you know, in my mind, this is inner love. This is the well, uh, the wellspring of emotion that lives within us. When it runs over, then we can go with the flow, okay? But I also kind of feel like for you that this is like love that's coming towards you. Very, very fast in the future. It might come through electronic communication might be coming through um, other written written word. Okay. In your recent past, we have the Eight of Wands reversed, the Nine of Cups reversed, and the Six of Pentacles reversed. Okay, do notice that all of these are in the reversal position. So before anything that can go on or you can manifest in your external circumstance, there's something that has to shift on the inside. Um, I need a second to just like, what is going on here with these cards? I feel like you've been giving a lot of yourself to something because you believed it made you really happy. Um, but it's it, it feels like you're like, you just did a really fast switch back or like, um, it's like you were cruising down a highway and then you took a hairpin turn and now you're going like the opposite way that you came because it's like the energy that you were investing into it, it like didn't prove fruitful in some way. Like you were, it's, it's really kind of weird. It's like, it's almost like you lost yourself in this process. It's like you were moving so quick and it's like the second that you realize that you weren't in touch with yourself anymore, you're like, F this, I'm out, you know? <laughs> I gotta go find my happiness again. I gotta go find balance again. I gotta figure out, you know, who Aquarius. 
is. It's not quite clear to me what's going on with those. Maybe I'm going to go back and clarify. So I'm very curious. I'm super curious. Okay, in your current energies, we have the Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Page of Swords. So I might be dealing with a younger air sign, but I kind of feel like this is you. I kind of feel like this is you showing up um, in your inner childishness, not ness, not childlike. Like, this is childish energy to me. Um, and I say that only because um, the Page of Swords kind of doesn't really care who they hurt with their ideas. Um, again, this is like looking at the past and feeling like there should have been a harvest at this point. Maybe with a person. I'm feeling that this is definitely like romance related for some of you. Um, whatever, well, like whatever it was that you have invested yourself in, you are taking stock. You're taking a look at... Um, Oh, why do I feel like you're going to be picking a fight with somebody about something that happened in the past? You know, these two, I feel like um, they're having a bit of a conversation to me right now. The Page of Swords is like, I have so much clarity about what happened, what went wrong. And I just want to, like, talk about the past so that I can move on. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a fight. I just maybe had to, like, say that. But it kind of does feel like there's something that happened in the past. And until you acknowledge it, you... Are feeling like you can't move on there's something that you know you put a lot of love into something you put a lot of nurturing into something um or you might be like in the point where some like these can be role reversals here like someone can be coming in and being like hey aquarius i want to talk to you about something that happened in the past so that we can like get things going again and whether that's going to be like you with this other energy again or whether it's going to be like a total like emancipatory energy where you're able to like actually like go and do your own thing um solo dolo but I kind of actually see it is like this is looking a little bit like a reconciliation in the future we have the seven of cups reversed we have the knight of swords we have the five of pentacles okay so this is like at the beginning of the video when I was saying like if you're not reconnecting to like the power of your um imagination now is really the time to be doing it because um this situation in your past that like left you feeling really like broke and like you were putting too much into it and that you like did that 180 that we talked about and you're like f this i'm out um it's kind of you're you're realizing you're getting a bit of mental clarity around why that particular situation contributed to a story that you had in your mind about like being unlovable or being like abandoned or orphaned in some way and how it was like a little bit of a, a delusion or like a self-fulfilling prophecy or just why it wasn't true, you know, like why it wasn't true, like why your energy was not being reciprocated and why, um, why in some way you had to stop dreaming in order to fill that role. That's kind of what it, like, that's really just what it feels like. It's like there was some sort of part of you that you were like look again like at some part you had to be like i can't be this far out to be accepted like whatever and you're like i don't know about that i'm actually allowed to be exactly who i am i and you know what it's true aquarius it's literally never too late to be who you want to be and to to fill the role that you feel like you're meant to you know whatever that is for you you know, there's so many paths that we can take. Let's clarify this Eight of Wands in the... Actually, no, let's clarify this Six of Pentacles. No, yeah, okay, Eight of Wands in the recent past, please. Hang on, sorry. Okay, I feel like it went half the deck jumps so. out. I don't, I hate it. Okay, we have the Hermit, we have the Queen of Swords, and we have the Two of Pentacles. Okay. Right. So yeah, you did that switch back. You know, you turned your back on something, you were like, 
I'm out because of something that came out through your inner light, something that was your inner knowing. You were like, I need to pair back on something. Something is keeping me in the clouds as above, as opposed to like above the clouds. Like something was stealing your clarity, I feel like, and you realized that you caught on and you were like, oh, <laughs> I see. Okay, yes, that's what's making you run. What's the Six of Pentacles doing here? We have the Knight of Pentacles reverse. We have the Nine of Wands and we have the High Repent. Yeah, okay, you guys are like needing to rebel in some way. There's some sort of like orthodox thing that's like so slow moving. It's like destroying your soul. You know, you have to feel like you're always on guard when you're in this environment or when you're like giving, giving, giving in this situation. And it's like, it kind of feels like you have this priest figure breathing down your neck at all times. And you're like, uh, you know, like this is too strict like I can't you know I I can't thrive in this environment like it's moving too slow for me to really um be myself it feels like um it kind of just feels like there's like a complete overhaul in your nature that you are undergoing right now or like there's a there's something about like the hermit that we were just talking about that you know your inner clarity that brought you up until this moment where you're like okay I have to actually walk away um, this is you hanging on to that, you know, this is, you've chosen your weapon, you're standing by it. And it, it does mean that you have to break a couple of rules, actually. Because guess what? Things were just not moving. You were just like so bogged down in your daily routine. It was starting to eat you alive. It was starting to just like steal your creativity from you. It was starting to, um, again, get you back into that place where you were telling a story about like, how lovable you are or how much you're worth being accepted and you're, you just realize you know like it's not true it was never true what was this ace of cups about in Aquarius's present moment okay we've got the four of cups reversed we have the king of wands and we have the page of swords hmm I feel like you rejected self-doubt. That's what this is saying. And we have the Page of Swords for you again. This is twice, okay? This is pretty significant. When you show up twice in your own reading, like, this is about you, with you. This, you know, like, the, this is definitely your reading. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're not talking about somebody else. We're talking about you. Okay, so with the Four of Cups and the King of Wands, I feel like with this Ace of Cups, what happened to get your emotions flowing again is, like, you were able to identify the doubt that was keeping you in this situation where you're like having to abide by social norms or like, I don't know, whoever this priest figure is that really does feel just like a cloying sense of incense that is like crawling into my lungs and making it hard for me to breathe. Whoever that figure is for you, you're like, this is just you rejecting that. Again, this is the same message over and over again. Two of swords. Yeah, had to make a decision. Had to turn your back on it. Had to clear your lungs out. How to go to your lungs out. Um, okay, I think this is about clear as she won't get. So let's go into the Knight of Swords in your incoming futures and see what's going on there for you. What is the Knight of Swords bringing for Aquarius and Moon Rising? This is just a lot of cards, but we're going to roll with it. Okay, we have the Emperor, um, the World, the Nine of Cups, Temperance, sorry, Swords, and then Ace of Pentacles. Completion, that's pretty cute. Um, there's something about this whole process for you, Aquarius, that um, in identifying your self-doubt, in getting into that place, it took you really, really far down. It took you really deep. It took you very much into a core place that was extremely painful and brought with it a lot of anxiety. And it brought with you like a lot of identification of just like, how am I being nice for other people? But the key thing here is, is like it, it was very draining process for you. It was something that took a lot out of you. 
So right now you just need to take a step back. Okay. And you just need to like know that it may not be time to, um, plant new seeds. If that kind of makes sense. You're still uprooting weeds. You've done like a huge, like you got out the rototiller and like completely like revamped your yard. Your body is tired and sore and aching. And right now you just need a nap. Okay. You just need a nap. You just need to like Get stable, get still, take care of your physical body. When was the last time you ate like a bowl of vegetables? Because that to me is like one of the most decadent things that you can do for yourself. Do that for like as long as you can, like a week, a month, the rest of the year. Just make sure that you are planting good things where you have recently uprooted things. Okay, nature abhors a void. Nature abhors a void where things are left vacant. Sometimes the things that come in first are not what we want. So just make sure that you are taking care of yourself so that you can develop the right things. Okay. And like, those things are like who you are. Okay, so like have fun with it. It's never late. It's never too late to be who you want to be. We're going to wrap this up. This is going to be just a last look from the universe, spirit, whatever. Um, is there any other stuff, things for you? Okay, we've got the Six of Cups. Ooh, we have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Magician. <laughs> Boom, bitch. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, first of all, while you're just, I, like, again, it's like the same energy. It's like you're destroying the old. You realize that the bridge that was connecting you to your culture was just like, whatever. But guess what? You're coming through as the magician here. You're connecting like the wild side of yourself with the really human side of yourself. And you're returning to like a really beautiful, innocent, childlike figure. And that's quite cute. That's quite sweet. Yeah. I hope this resonates for you, Aquarius. Um, I hope that you give yourself the chance to have a lot of fun while you're rediscovering yourself. Oh my God, you wonderful, weird human, you. Um, please let me know what's going on in the comment section and I will see you in your next reading. Okay, bye.